Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back to Life on the Wrist. Hope you guys are doing well today. We got another issue of the Departures magazine. We're gonna be taking a look at the watches that are inside of this magazine. As you can imagine, this is the May-June 2021 edition, and so a lot of the new watches that have been released by some of these larger brands are going to be in this magazine. Um, there's a really great variety in this one, and I'm really excited to actually jump into this one. This is the culture issue. Obviously, watches probably have something to do with, with that. Um, and there's a really interesting um, article about um, David Halberg's. Um, so, uh, really cool um, issue. I'm excited to jump into the watches. If you don't know, we um, look at the watches that are found inside of these magazines and give you our thoughts on them. So, um, we have a playlist where we go through, we've gone through um, quite a few of these um, already. So, I would um, go and check out that playlist. There's probably some some. Um, of these videos in the in the side panel as well so you can check that out but without further ado let's uh, I'll flip the um, camera perspective so that you can take a look at the watches inside of this departures magazine all right let's take a look at the um, May June edition of the departures magazine this is the culture issue um, obviously it's gonna have a lot um, when it comes to the retail space but also um, more things to do with um, things like dance and, and, and those those like so we'll get straight into it I know we're gonna be focusing on the watches for the most part though so um, first two pages really um, interesting um, Gucci um, kind of spread there and then we've got some more advertising for sort of jewelry and luxury luxury products and then what is incredible for watch lovers is you turn the page and you have this beautiful two pre two page spread from Rolex and this is showing off their new Oyster Perpetual 41s where they have a ton of new colors. Um, this was probably one of the, the, the hottest um, releases by Rolex when this came out. All of these colors are extremely desirable. Um, this Tiffany blue has been extremely popular on, on um, social media. Um, everyone is trying to get their hands on it. And what you're actually seeing is vintage watches with similar tiles starting to come out, which I think is kind of, kind of funny. Um, they kind of go into the into the details here about kind of the Oyster Perpetual, when it was launched, what it's kind of used for, and kind of the normal kind of spiel. Um, but you've got the green dial, you've got the, the red dial on this person's wrist here. Blue, yellow, uh, I guess Tiffany blue, yellow, uh, kind of mustard yellow, ocean blue, and then you got the pink dial up there. You can see there the 3230 movement that is the beating heart of these Oyster Perpetuals. Um, like I said, this was an extremely popular release from Rolex when they when they came out with it um, a couple of months ago and um, it's still still uh, really hard to get a hold of a lot of these watches um, it's, but um, yeah a, a nice two-page spread for all of the watch lovers out there as we kind of continue we can see some more advertisements Van Cleef and Arpels um, a nice kind of spread there um, this brand advertised heavily within this magazine, and then we're starting to get into the meat of the thing, the, the magazine. And then on this left side page, which is probably my favorite watch in this magazine, we have an absolutely beautiful um, Vacheron Constantin overseas with the beautiful Turbial um, down at six o'clock here. Interesting, it's coming from famed um, photo, uh, photographer Corey Richards. Um, and I mean, just take a look at that watch. I mean, does it get much better than, than that? Um, Absolutely beautiful deep blue um, dial. The Vacheron Constantin logo on that Turbion cage. It's just it's just phenomenal. It looks great on the wrist as well. But yeah, probably my, my, my favorite watch. Um, maybe because I'm partial to the Vacheron Constantin. Who knows? As we kind of continue, we got some more kind of advertisements. And again, we've got another watch in this in this edition. We can see this is the this is a Chopard um, ladies' watch. See, it's the happy sport obviously it's got plenty of diamonds on the around the outside of the dial interesting they've got these kind of floating diamonds inside of the dial as well roman numerals this is definitely a dress watch for a, a ladies dress watch um, and obviously chopard has a fairly rich history of, of watch making and um, you know these diamond set watches are, are are really beautiful from them Moving forward, we can kind of continue. We've got some more advertisements, a letter from the editor there, um, Tiffany. And so as we can kind of continue, another watch. We've got this a really beautiful Reverso Duetto. This is, um, I believe it's um, advertised as a ladies watch, but essentially this is a, a Reverso with two, um, two, different, um, two different dials. 
on, on, on each side of the watch. So you've got this white dial here, and then you've got this really beautiful um, sort of uh, darker dial with this inner, inner wheel where the kind of hours indicators are. What I imagine, you know, the, the, the concept with, was with this watch is daytime, sort of nighttime, evening wear is sort of how I, how I kind of um, would probably imagine this would, this would go. You have some really beautiful diamonds there, dark dial, so it kind of goes with the, you know, the evening wear that you might be wearing in, 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 in something like that. As we continue, some, some nice articles about um, food and, 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 and cooking. Um, and as we kind of continue through here, beautiful sights here. Um, makes me want to travel um, tomorrow. Uh, unfortunately, the pandemic's kind of keeping, keeping people here. But you can see as travel kind of starts to open up and more people get vaccinated, you can see a beautiful picture of the Caribbean Sea there. Um, beautiful landscapes here um, of uh, Harold Bay beautiful food I mean I could do, I could totally go for a trip here kind of into the northern parts of and then one of our old faithfuls Richard Mille we've got um, the RM037 with the uh, very typical advertisement where they have something that kind of is the inspiration for the watch above as you can see, this this RM037 is nothing but diamonds. Hugely, huge amount of diamonds used in this watch, and you can see a date there. Um, but but I think the main attraction here is the amount of diamonds, and you can imagine that being sort of a um, a very popular watch for those who who, who like diamonds. <laughs> Another watch we've got here. This is the RM7201, 72-01. Again, the inspiration below the watch. I can kind of show the watch a little bit more here. Um, a really great tourbillon that's kind of staring back at you there with the date complication there. Um, Richard Mille advertises heavily in this magazine. It's pretty insane. I feel like every single magazine that we go to, wow, that looks delicious. Every single magazine that we go to, um, go through, there's a Richard Mille. Here we can see this gentleman actually wearing a watch. It's not very clear what it is. Um, I'm not sure if maybe it's a, it looks like it's a, the shape of a Panerai. Um, that's probably my best guess, but um, yeah, another watch that we spotted in this magazine. Continuing forward, a little bit more about fashion here. And then we've got another page of a really uh, a great, great variety of watches here. So we'll start over on this left side. So right here, we've got the Rolex date in yellow gold. Um, and I mean, what, there's not much more that you can say about this watch. It's yellow gold, black dial, black bezel. I think the black and, and yellow gold really go um, really nicely together. And obviously it goes very nicely with his jacket. Um, a phenomenal watch, a very expensive watch. I think it retails for about 30,000 US dollars, so not the cheapest. Moving over here, we've got two Breguets. You can kind of see down here. We've got, or excuse me, one Breguet, and then I believe the other one might be a, a different watch. As you know, I think it's the same, but we've got here the Tradition, Tradition uh, Quantium Retrograde 7597 in rose gold. Um, not as clear as the Rolex, but you can see the dial of the watch kind of towards 12 o'clock. And then you really can see the inner workings of the watch, which I really love about, about these. That watch, this watch, if I can make sure I don't mess this one up. Um, oh, this is a this is a classic 7337 in white gold. Um, a little hard to see the dial of the watch on this one. And then up here we've got um, we've got a uh, emerald watch in white gold with diamonds um, from Harry Winston, and then we have another white gold watch with diamonds um, called the Ocean uh, by Retrograde, um, which I think is going to be this one here. Um, so another another spread of watches that that really look interesting. I think as far as the outfits go, I really love this combination, but this looks really great as well. Um, I, I wish this was a little bit more clear so we could take a look at it, but um, it is what it is. 
Moving forward, some more cultural aspects, kind of going into the world of art here. And as we kind of continue, more travel inspired, um, inspired content in this magazine. Um, as we kind of continue here, no wristwatches on these two gentlemen that I can see. Can't really see this wrist, but um, no wristwatches that I can see. No wristwatches here. Um, but a little bit more uh, towards the, the art side of this magazine. Some more sort of advertising and, and, and for shopping and, and, and those types of things here. Really cool, um, cool way of um, kind of zooming up the Ford Broncos. Some art in Seoul. This, this kind of goes into that and you can see very interesting designs here um, and a very interesting piece of art here as well. Um, we can see this gentleman here in this article called a leap of faith is actually wearing a watch Looks like a tank shaped watch. I wouldn't be surprised if it was maybe a tank or a cintre or something like that But this is about the American dancer David Hallberg um, It was an interesting article to read. I'm not going to spoil it for you if you want you can pause and zoom uh, To take a look at this or you can take a look at this magazine when you want to and we've got another shot of Andrew here. Um, you can see the wristwatch on his on his wrist there. Um, drinking a nice, looks like coffee. Moving forward, we've got this interesting article about Atlanta. Um, and kind of the, the history that, that kind of comes with Atlanta. No wristwatches here to be, to be spoken about. And again, some more sort of fashion related content here. And I think that kind of brings to an end the watches that were found in this in this magazine just checking out his wrist I can see something but probably can't draw too many conclusions about it um, but yes that is that, those are the watches those are the watches that are found in this issue of the departures magazine this is the May June 2021 issue the culture issue um, by far my favorite was the Bastion Constantin Turbion uh, let me know what your favorite was in the comments and I will flip perspectives so we can close out this video. I hope you guys enjoyed looking at the watches inside of the Departures Magazine, the culture issue for May, June of 2021. If I was to pick a favorite out in this magazine, it would probably be that Vacheron Constantin with the tourbillon at six o'clock. It's such a beautiful overseas um, and is really one of my favorites. Let me know which watch you really enjoyed seeing in this magazine. I'd love to see which was the kind of the top picks um, for this, this uh, May, June issue be really um, really interesting to see um, if you um, haven't seen some of our other videos be sure to check those out we did a whole coverage on watches and wonders um, we started to look at some of the um, auctions that are going to be taking place over the next couple months and some of our favorite picks from those so be sure to check those out um, if you don't know Phil the Phil Phillips uh, Geneva watch auction is going to be taking place this weekend so be sure to check that out as well and we'll do a follow-up video after that where we give you um, a kind of our favorite lots post uh, post the the auction we've done a video where we went through some of the some of our favorite lots before and we gave you our predictions for some of those so be sure to check that out vi that video out as well um, if you want new to the channel be sure to hit that subscribe button and share these videos with your friends who may be interested in watches um, and if you wouldn't mind um, hitting that like button for us it really does help us out and all these things really help these videos get to more watch enthusiasts who would be interested in the content we create so um, be sure to do that and with this said guys thank you so much for watching and until next time